So our last thing to look at is a thing called a format check is we want to make sure that the um, the, the, the data input into our table is of the correct format that we are looking for. So if we're asking for um, a number, it will only let you with numbers. So the thing that we were, were looking at before is um, telephone numbers. OK, so um, there's a few things that we need to do is um, one of the things is we need to make sure that it is a 11 characters. Now, we've, we've stopped that and we've, we've stopped people going over 11 characters. But what we haven't done is we haven't stopped people putting in less than um, 11 characters and we haven't stopped people putting in text. OK, so that's not great. So what we can do. Okay, is we can um, uh, add some more validation to this. So we've got here, we've got our telephone. Okay, we've got our, um, okay, for some reason it's, oh, we've lost our, oh, it's changed to long text, that's why. Um, we need to be on short text. OK, there we go. That's better. We've got a field size there now. I was wondering what's going on there. So we're going to add a validation rule. Now, I did do this in, in the um, earlier one when we looked at um, length checks. OK, so we type length, like and then open quotes. And then we're going to put the question mark in here. We're going to put 11 of these in. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And end the quote. OK, so uh, shift 2 for your quotes. So the question mark is not a wild card, but it's saying that a character must be in this place. Okay, so it must have a, a character uh, within that place. Okay, so um, that will now allow them to make sure that if I save that. Okay, yes, we know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> um, now, if I put a telephone number in there, if I put in a little bit of a telephone number, it will say, all right, it's not giving us a, a very good error message. So this is a good example here of, um, of putting a standard one that you know, might access has put in the error message. Now, that isn't really helpful for a user. So we'd need to add that in, which I forgot to do. So that's going to stop people from putting in more than seven, uh, more than uh, less than 11 digits. OK, so um, we could put in there, please ensure that you include 11 digits okay so that will um, allow us to put in 11 digits so um, save that now if we try and do that right at the minute we're allowed to put text in but now we get a helpful error message so please ensure that you cleaned 11 digits okay we could put in your telephone number so people know that we've got to have 11 digits within the telephone number well that has got 11 digits now there we go um there so um uh, we'll we'll delete that out and uh we'll, we could put that in please ensure that you include 11 digits in your telephone number okay so that then makes it clear of where they've got to put it. It's a lot more helpful. So I don't know if you noticed, um, we've got um, the option now to um, either put telephone number, which has got to be 11 digits. Yeah. Um, but we haven't we've got in there. We can put text in there as well. So what we need to do, OK, you know, so I need to put 11. Um, there's a couple of things that we've, we've got it here that we've got. Now we can put a blank in there. So if we wanted it to be um, available, we could put. Um, if we start it with. Is not. Null. And. Like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up our validation rule. So we're going to say is not null. So it has to have a field in there and like 11 characters so now it will force us okay yes thank you it will now force us to if i now try and um, put something in it should force us oh no it's not doing it for some reason 
might be because this um, already exists. So let's let's make a new person. Oh. sure why that wasn't working okay so we'll put a third person in here so number three we'll have um i don't know juicy jump for any of you who have seen balamori uh, she's a character out of balamori that's if you're old enough to remember balamori i'm not sure whether you guys would do or not so now it should yeah see now it's um, not letting me save this without putting a telephone number in, okay? Because we've got is not null, so then we have to put in a telephone number, and we can't put in uh, less than eleven characters. Yeah. And uh, if we put in eleven characters, it will now accept that that um, telephone number, which is great. So we did have the other option as well. You could put the required in there as well so that would then obviously do the same as is not null okay one other thing though is we have the ability to put in text in there which okay if we were going to do the international um, telephone number okay um, we might want to put the plus four four at the front so we would allow some text but um, what we want to do is we really only want to allow numbers in our telephone number here okay so um, what we can do is we can add on to this as well we can say and yeah we're gonna say not like and then we're gonna have some quotes nope I've got to put something in between those quotes okay um, I'm gonna put an asterisk I'm going to put an opening square bracket. Then I'm going to put zero dash nine. Close those square brackets and then finish the asterisk. What that will do is that will only say it's got to be like it's got to have only numbers in there. OK, so now, yeah. Um, oh, can't think of his name. PC. Oh, what was his name? I can't remember now. Well, it's a PC plot. Um, uh, I was thinking of more Balamori. But anyways, I know there's Archie the Inventor, but then that's another one. So now, um, if I try and put in some... We've got 11 characters. It's now saying you must include digits. It's not allowing me to put in the characters as well. Okay, so now put numbers in there. Oh. You must ensure you've got 11 digits. I have got 11 digits. No, oh, something's gone wrong there. Not sure what is going on there. Hmm. That's very weird. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just try that again. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right, please ensure that you've got 11 digits. Let's, um, let's just... Uh... Oh, no, it's not going to let me do it because it's not... Let's, let's, um, let's get back to our design view and let's say, instead of saying not like, let's just say like and see if that then solves our problem. Yet yeah, save. Yes, we know, we know. Okay, so oh, I've just thought of who PC is. It's PC Plum. Well, that was it. <laughs> um, so now it's going to let us put in numbers. Excellent. Right, let's try Archie in Inventor. And we'll try and put in some letters in there yeah there we go um the chain oh okay duplicate values Ooh, right. oh okay right first of all it's looking at here because it's saying we've got a member number zero and um we want that to be a different number so we need to make that number four and ideally like i said we shouldn't have a member number zero so we'll put that at five now what we would normally use is auto numbers that would solve that problem for us okay so um Let's now carry on and see if that will let us finish. Oh, and it does. So 
something not quite sure what's going on there so what I'm going to do I'm going to stop the video uh, uh, and I'm going to try and rectify that problem